now we are going to discuss lesson number 21 that is the social movements in the present century the most important movements which have seen an uprising of the people against the existing nation before going into the movements the 20th century has been the background of various new changes which have come in this context we have seen germany rising in the nazis rule we have seen the two world wars of one is the because of the victim of germany the other one to revenge against it so we have seen the rise and upfall of germany in the context of two world wars we have seen two power blocks getting formed again we have seen italy rising in the fascist system and moving on to fascism we have mussolini rising from a normal person to a very dictatorship status where he developed italy and he made italy to be a very strong nation to fight against it his famous slogan was like what is a motherhood for women is the maternity or like maternity conditions like which satisfies a woman to be a complete person in the same way war will make a nation to achieve its success in this way he motivated the people to come towards war and moving on to the russia we got the development of soviet socialistic system in ussr where the lands of the rich landlords were grabbed and redistributed for the poor people the collective agricultural system was developed where we have seen a dictator rising from a normal level and he made russia to stand in the forefront of the superpower race this are the extremes where we have seen and after 1950s the trend has changed completely the change of trend has brought new movements inside that is the liberal movements the liberation setup people started to demand more rights for them more freedom for them liberty then equality fraternity these were the main guiding principles of 1950 after 1950 many of the colonial nations got independence and they achieved their success to the larger extent that they could reach to the maximum extent of what they can do and fight against the colonial masters india also could achieve its independence fighting against the mighty power of the british without a weapon that is a weapon of non violence in this way we have seen the extremities of liberal movements and we also have seen the national movements national governments or the change of the colonial governments were thrown away by the uprising national movements in various countries in this way the background of this lesson gives us a clear picture of what has given for us till now in the present 20th century now we are going to discuss about the social movements the social movements have brought a drastic change in the entire scenario and setup this entire scenario and setup has changed completely what are the social movements we'll discuss a social movement which happened in usa then we shall discuss the social movements which are happening in various other places in india we have various social movements in russia we have various social movements the incidents which happened for us the tragedies which happened for us what are the peaceful liberations which happened for us what happened in russia after 1991 what were the changes that were brought in russia in 1991 and what are the torch bearers revolution of indians in mizoram region why indian army has been given special status or special powers in a particular region we are going to discuss all these things detailed in this lesson let's move on to the social movement or the civil rights movement in usa now we are going to discuss about the civil rights movement the civil rights movement it's actually asking for the legal rights or the equal status of rights between the different communities in america that is in united states of america we have the division of people basing on their color creed or like skin like we in, in america we have a population of africans and basic americans so the african people are dark colored people when compared to the americans americans are in bright colored people or white colored people the african people are also known as 
the Negroes or blacks, whites. So now, moving on to the ground reality here, as soon as Mr. Abraham Lincoln has passed away and he gave the freedom for them that we can no more use the word Negro at any point of time. But even then, after 100 years, if you see the reality here, there is a difference for everything for blacks and whites. The reality is that, so moving on to the actual facts that even Abraham Lincoln has clearly mentioned that there is going to be no division in the America and we are the United States of America. We have drawn people from various communities and settled in America and there is no division of blacks and whites. But there is from grassroots level, there is a differences for this, right from buses. In buses, we have separate buses for blacks and separate buses for whites. The buses and the comforts for whites are different when compared to the buses and compared to the comforts of blacks. So there is separation of buses for blacks, whites. Then moving on to the hotels. Again here we have the separation of hotels for blacks and whites. And one more tragic thing is that the blacks are not at all supposed to enter the buses which are specified for the whites. It is a crucial point and if at any point of time by mistake if anybody unknowingly enters into the premises of the bus of the whites, the whites would literally throw them away from the bus. Then moving on to the hotels, they are completely banned and they clearly mention that the blacks and dogs are not allowed into the hotels, which shows clearly the discrimination at a very par of excellence. And moving on to education. In education, blacks have separate schools and the whites have separate schools. In this way, there is a difference in the education, there is a difference in the buses, there is differences in the transport, there is differences in the public gatherings, there are some specified places only for the whites to enter into there, there is a discrimination in the employment opportunities, there is discrimination in the promotion policies, and everything we find the differentiation and discrimination against the blacks and whites is the entire scenario which is the background for this civil rights movement. As the movement was at its peak, this incident was initially started by Rosa Parks who sat into the bus and a white man enters into the black man's bus and whites can enter into any of the buses. So the white man entered into the buses and he asks, forces Rosa Parks to evacuate the seat and give him a seat and uh, Rosa Parks who was tired of that day rejects that she is not going to give any seat to him. This basic rejection of her black lady raises the issue anger of the whites and later this stable lady has issued a very strong message to the whites that she is not going to bear any kind of tolerance further. 